We were asked to create a pair of small-scale autonomous robots capable of avoiding obstacles while following each other. We called them Romeo and Juliet, and this is how they were made. The obvious choice for the controller is an NI SB Rio with a reconfigurable Xilinx FPGA, 28 bi-directional DIO lines and a powerful 2 amp 5 volt supply rail. We reached for the 9636. We grabbed an off-the-shelf robot chassis with some motors and ultrasound sensors and got to work. We grabbed some breadboard and created an H-bridge motor driver circuit to drive three motors separately. These circuits allow us to change direction and speed of each motor easily. Flyback diodes are added to protect the motor against back EMF. Made one for each robot and put it all together. Testing the electronics we designed was quick and easy using our NI MIDAC and DACA system functions in LabVIEW. We run all our circuitry straight from the RC battery. It looks like everything works, we're good to go. Mount the SP Rio using its four standard 3mm mounting points. All the DIO pins of the SP Rio will be accessed via a standard ribbon cable. The robots need to see each other, so we create a halo of IR LEDs using bespoke mounts attached to the top of the Rio itself. A servo motor with a bespoke IR detection circuit on top detects the other IR signal and calculates its position. They'll go on later. The SB Rio is powered straight from a 12 volt RC type battery. With everything tested and working, we're ready to write some code. Start with LabVIEW. The project layout makes everything easy to organize. The robotics toolkit helps abstract from low-level programming so we can concentrate on electronics and robotics. We write LabVIEW FPGA code to ensure completely deterministic contact with our hardware. Using existing LabVIEW programming design structures ensures we don't get lost in our code. We make our code modular with sub-VIs and creating algorithms is simple with a graphical system design approach, dropping down structures and functions in an intuitive way instead of writing line after line of code. Here we're writing a driver for our motors. In our project, we've configured the code to run on startup, requiring no user interaction and making the robots fully autonomous. The servo motor makes constant sweeps, checking for an IR signal from the other robot. At the same time, the SB Rio is polling the ultrasound sensors and moving to the section of the room with the most empty space. In this configuration, Romeo roams around the area finding the largest empty space. Using the IR detection system, Juliet turns to face Romeo and follows. Due to our modular design in LabVIEW and use of state machine architecture, we can change the tasks that Romeo and Juliet perform later. We were able to design and develop this project in the space of just three months thanks to the ease of integration of National Instruments hardware and software. For more information on how you can use National Instruments hardware and software in your academic project, visit ni.com forward slash robotics. <laughs>